Good morning, Chairman Walden, Ranking Member Eshoo, Ranking Member Pallone, and members of the subcommittee. I'm Philip Berenbroich, Counsel for Government Affairs at Public Knowledge, a public interest nonprofit dedicated to the openness of the internet and access, open access for consumers to lawful content and innovative technology. I will make two key points. First, it is critical for Congress to lay the groundwork for a consistent, robust pipeline of spectrum. As Chairman Walden and Ranking Member Eshoo referenced, demand for spectrum continues to grow. They sh Congress should do so in a way that promotes more competition and choices for consumers, better service quality, lower prices, and greater innovation. Second, unlicensed spectrum has become critical for economic growth and permissionless innovation. Efforts to increase available spectrum should strike a balance and increase the amount of spectrum for available for unlicensed use. Turning to my first point, Critical missions across the government depend on federal spectrum, including early warning missile systems and air traffic control systems. At the same time, America's broadband providers, consumers, innovators, and new technologies are demanding more and more spectrum. This is why we encourage Congress, along with the federal agencies responsible for spectrum allocations, the National Telecommunications and Information Administration, and the Federal Communications Commission, to work together to devise a consistent and reliable spectrum pipeline that can meet this growing spectrum demand. Public knowledge supports policy initiatives that enable federal users to accomplish their critical missions in a manner that also maximizes opportunities for spectrum sharing or relocating federal users to enhance spectrum availability for commercial competition and innovation. If done thoughtfully and in collaboration with Congress, agencies, and other stakeholders, creative solutions to increase spectrum availability have the opportunity to be a rare win-win-win in public policy. The first win is freeing up additional spectrum for mobile broadband use to meet the increasing demand on our wireless networks. Second, by encouraging more efficient federal use of scarce public resources. And third, by expanding the amount of spectrum available for innovative unlicensed uses like next generation Wi-Fi networks. Legislation under consideration by this committee is a good start. Public Knowledge supports H.R. 1641, sponsored by Representative Guthrie and Representative Matsui, providing financial incentives for federal spectrum users to relocate from their existing bands is a creative way to free up much needed spectrum for commercial uses and unlicensed innovation. Public Knowledge also supports the goals of the subcommittee's discussion draft legislation to lay the groundwork for the FCC to engage in long-term planning on relocating federal users from various spectrum bands, auctioning the cleared spectrum, and finding a balance between licensed and unlicensed uses. Turning to the importance of unlicensed spectrum, the economic activity and consumer benefits derived from mobile broadband use are immense. Today, a majority of mobile device traffic is offloaded onto fixed broadband networks via Wi-Fi, and that traffic only continues to grow. Unlicensed spectrum has democratized internet access and encouraged permissionless innovation. The value unlicensed spectrum contributes to the U.S. economy is estimated to exceed $220 billion annually. Unlicensed uses of spectrum include more than just Wi-Fi. Unlicensed frequencies are open for any person and any device to use for any legal purpose. Uses include cordless phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth, Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID, which is used for making mobile payments, for paying tolls on highways, and tracking baggage and transit. Unlicensed frequencies are also necessary for connecting the burgeoning Internet of Things, which Representative Clark has referenced. Given the enormous benefits of unlicensed spectrum, any legislative effort to increase license, the licensed spectrum pipeline should also expand the amount of spectrum made available for license exempt use. One option would be to create a cut for unlicensed spectrum in newly freed up bands. Commissioner Rosenwurzel has called this the Wi-Fi dividend. And to open up even more spectrum for unlicensed use, Congress may consider opportunities to allow for unlicensed sharing of bands with federal where federal users reside, including asking the FCC to examine the possibility of an unlicensed underlay, while establishing mechanisms to protect critical bands and pre prevent interference. Thank you to the members of the subcommittee for your time. I look forward to the opportunity to answer your questions. Mr. Berenbroich, thank you for your testimony and your support of our efforts. We appreciate it as always.